Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavec Movies. My name is John and this is going to be my competition for the channel Jason Brett. Now Jason has reached a milestone of 200 subscribers and he's went past that, of course he has. Um, his channel is great. I've seen his channel grow from uh, from quite recently actually. I've, I've went on his video for the first thing I saw and it was his Mothra box set. When he unboxed it, it was about a brilliant video. So I decided to, to check more of his stuff out and I've become uh, a good friend of his. And uh, I do think that uh, his channel is going to go from, from he's got a lot of stuff going on in his channel, especially his editing is just absolutely amazing. Uh, so his, his videos are always very watchable. And I do urge you to go and get into his channel, get the subscriptions going and get into his uh, competition. His competition is going to win some art. Now, Jason had sent me some art in the past, so I know how good his art is. And he sent me what is the cover of my or on the cover of my favorite horror movie of all time and that is zombie the 1979 film so he sent me this just as a subscriber mail i wasn't expecting it I actually sent quite a few people things that were like um sort of personal to them this is like my favorite horror film so this is the one i got and other people got different things that were uh, sort of really uh, personal to their their likes in films as well absolutely brilliant so he has done three uh, artworks which are different artworks but if you take a trip to his channel, you will find out what they are. And they're absolutely brilliant, I've got to admit. So, Jason's question was, what's the best um, cover in your collection and what's the worst cover in your collection? Well, I didn't have to think too much about this, but I'm going to break a few rules. Because obviously, um, Jason has said Blu-rays. Now, it is a Blu-ray, but one of them's a DVD and one of them's slightly like a Blu-ray, but you will understand why I've picked it because it's absolutely brilliant cover and also it's quite uh, relevant to Jason who's a fan of other things as well which will become apparent when I, when I get into this. So also I'd like to say that I'm going to do a, my first ever live stream on YouTube uh, with Jason on Jason's channel. He's invited me onto his channel and that's going to be on the, the 2nd of um, April and it's going to be a Friday. So that starts at half past eight. So I'm quite uh, quite excited to do that. So if you ever want to speak to me, or you obviously you want to speak to Jason as well, um, there's a chance to do that on here. Because uh, I, on this channel, I don't do live streams at the moment, but not to say that wouldn't happen in the future, but that's a live stream that you can attend and also get yourself over there and sub to his channel as well. It's a great channel. It's got a lot of things going on. It's got a lot of things that he's got in the pipeline as well. So getting back to the question that Jason asked originally, what is your favourite covers and your least favourite covers? I'm going to start with my least favourite cover. I think that this, and this is an official cover, you might think it's a complete and utter copy or a snide that you would get on the market. It's not. You can get this actually on a, on, on um, Amazon, the same cover, and it's going to cost you £10. Well, I got it from the pound shop for £1, and even that, I thought I was getting ripped off. The film itself is not the best of films, but I wanted to get it because it's quite a hard one to get in the UK. This is the only release that you're going to get of it. There's no Blu-ray, there's no nothing, but the cover on it, it just looks absolutely rubbish. If you were walking past this film, the film, like I say, it's not the best of films, but you would never look at this twice. And the person who did it must have had no knowledge about the film itself or the people itself or even it must have been somebody who just basically switched a computer on on their first day of looking at computers and just thought i'm going to make a cover up so it's for the and i don't even know when this film is out i think the film was released in 1993 and it is brain smasher i love story what a title now this i got this film because i'm a big fan of andrew dice clay uh, he did appear in um a Star is Born as well as Lady Gorgor's dad and he's I don't understand why this he should never done a PG film he's a very much an adult entertainer he never seemed he never should have went down this route to make a sort of kid friendly film I don't think I've really seen it but I know I saw it there for a pound and I thought well I'm gonna have a shot of it it's not gonna break the bank but I mean that is just absolutely hideous now imagine if you paid 10 pounds from Amazon even the box is rubbish but the disc itself looks like like it's been hand printed. It looks like someone out of a computer. It's absolute garbage. Um, the film deserves a lot more than that. Um, not much more, if I'm honest. It's not one of his best films at all. But like I say, it's just absolutely just hopeless. And imagine paying £10 for that. I would be sending that back immediately. 
in Poundland, if you ever want to see this film, it is there's about a million of them in there anyway, so never ever go to the to Amazon to get the ten pound. Not the ever would. I've never seen this in the shop or anything like that. HMV don't stock them because it looks too much like a copy. So anyway, it's a legitimate release, and who's it being released by? In fact, I don't even think there's no even there's not a company involved with this. No, there's nothing. There's no. It's not. There's no company involved with this. So that just says it tells you everything you need to know about this presentation utter utter rubbish but because it's a film i was after it's in the collection um if it was ever upgraded to any other version even another dvd that was more official looking i would definitely get that okay so that's the trash out of the way so what's the best thing in my co collection what's the best cover in my collection well it is a blu-ray but it's not your average blu-ray it is the incredible godzilla Criterion box set Spine 1000 the cover itself is just phenomenal it's just it, I mean when you look at it in the flesh the colors especially that the colors are just so utterly just amazing it's it's the it's incredible I mean I don't put it on me I can't put my shelves mine is in the cupboard it's in a cardboard box in the cupboard it's, it's in storage there I do have the discs in a box that I've created upstairs up there to uh, so I can get them at, to hand. I don't actually have them in the case anymore, but the um, there's where the ca the cases the sorry the discs should be, but they're not in there anymore. So I'm not pulling them all in and out with the cardboard things, which I don't like. But yes, so the cover and I know Jason is a huge fan of Godzilla, and that's an understatement of the century. Um, I I know that Jason wants this set. He's going to pick it up when the price is right. I do see this coming down. It used to be always 150 quid. Of course, when it went out of print, uh, briefly, the scalpers got a hold of it, and I'd seen them going on uh, eBay for three, four, five hundred quid, which is just madness. It is personally, it's worth 150 pound or below. If you could get it for 100 pound, that would be a steal because this is just next level incredible incredibleness if even that's the word it's not i've just made it up um will this ever come out in a standard version i don't think it will i know i've talked to somebody who said that it is going to come out but i i'm really not thinking it will i think that the problem they've got with toho are involved with this and toho are so awkward when it comes to releasing their stuff all the godzillas have always been released like in that fashion you, you can't get half of them for loving the money you can get every single one of them in this set up until 1975 so for me it's a no-brainer to get this set but i know that jason will get this set eventually one day um so that's my favorite cover and that's my i mean there's no comparison uh, no i don't know it doesn't look too bad is it okay so thanks once again for watching uh please go over to jason's channel F please subscribe to him and please go into his competition he's got a lot of stuff coming up he's got this live streams coming up he's got um not just me he's got rob from uh, Boba Fett's uh, bounty on there. Uh, he's had somebody else on as well. No, he did one by himself, which was a really good one actually. I got a chance to actually watch most of that. I don't get a chance to watch most live streams live, but I do watch them on catch up and I have a great time with them. So, um, and I think he's got a lot more guests coming. So thanks once again for watching. You take care and I will see you on the next video.